In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. All by God's grace. All for God's glory. If I may take the liberty to summarize and paraphrase the great teaching of the doctor of divine love, St. Francis de Sales, whose feast we celebrate today. May I summarize it in these words, all by God's grace, all for God's glory. It is a venerable tradition of Holy Mother Church that in the major feasts throughout the year, that we would not only celebrate those feasts on the feast day, but for the greater edification of the Christian faithful, that we would also celebrate that feast mass on the Sunday for you all to see and participate and behold the great importance that Holy Mother Church places on this particular feast for our spiritual family in the Institute of Christ the King. He is one of our principal patron saints and Holy Mother Church honors him in a very particular way by numbering him among the doctors of the church. Every doctor of the church is honored by Holy Mother Church with the gospel that you just heard today, taken from the Sermon on the Mount, when it is that our beloved Lord Jesus Christ declares to the multitudes, you are the salt of the earth. You are the light of the world. I propose to you today that our great saint demonstrates this not only in his own life, which provides a beautiful model of virtue for us all, but he exhorts us this very day by the words to summarize this gospel, all by God's grace, all for God's glory. For how is the salt flavored in the first place? If you are the salt of the earth, wherewith did you receive your Savior? All by God's grace. Everything that we have, everything that we've been given, everything with which we have been blessed is a gift of Almighty God. They say that the only thing that we have to call our own, that God did not first give to us, is our sinfulness, our sins. Everything else that we have is a gift of Almighty God, all by God's grace. And if we lose our Savior, wherewith shall we be savored? St. Gregory the Great offers us this reflection, that if God has appointed you by the gifts he has given you to give flavor to the world around you, to preserve, if you will, our society, if you lose your savor, wherewith will society be preserved? You are the salt of the earth. By God's grace, you have received a gift. May you guard it, preserve it, in order that you may preserve the society in which we all find ourselves. Our blessed Lord goes on. You are the light of the world. Where did you receive that light? All by God's grace. If we have received the light of faith, it is not, as our Lord says, to be placed hidden away, but rather to shine brightly in the world that we find often in darkness. Notice the candles that we all light here on the altar, 
and the votive stands in our homes. How does a flame burn? Gently. Gently the flame burns upon that wick. And yet, it dispels the darkness from around it. It is not violent, it is not loud, it is not angry. It burns softly, quietly, and calmly. And as that flame is shared one to the other, the luminosity of that one flame is multiplied, thereby sharing that light gently, and yet all the while becoming all the stronger. For there is nothing stronger than gentleness, because there is nothing more gentle than true strength. These are words of our beloved Saint doctor of divine charity himself. Saint Francis de Sales teaches us the truth in charity. There is nothing stronger than gentleness because there is nothing more gentle than true strength. We have received all of these things by God's grace. For what other purpose should they be used than for His glory? All by God's grace, all for His glory. We receive not His gifts in vain, that we would hide them or waste them or allow them to, to lose their savor, but rather that we would wish to share them not for our own vain glory or edification, but rather for the greater edification of souls, for the glory of Almighty God. For if He has created you out of pure love, created you in His image and likeness, then undoubtedly He has created the person who is sitting next to you in the same way. And when you leave these doors, the person that you cross on the street, the person that you meet in your place of employment or in your school, or the clerk behind the cash register in the supermarket, he created him too in his image and likeness out of pure love. And as we encounter the world, which we often find, yes, steeped in darkness, let us have recourse to the gift that God gave to us by His grace, that we may shine that light of faith gently, yet purely, into the world and to all those that we meet. For we have received everything by God's grace. Let us give everything to Him for His glory. May St. Francis de Sales be our model in this and our intercessor in heaven. For if we should ever find it difficult to put these words into practice, confronted with the contradictions of daily life, let us be encouraged and comforted that this did not come easily for our beloved St. Francis himself. He himself had to struggle against his own concupiscence, his own imperfections, his own personal defects, in order to be faithful always to the grace that he had received from God, the grace of his baptism that is not unlike yours that you have received. And when we have recourse to what we receive from God's grace, we shall assuredly do everything for His glory. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Don't forget to click subscribe and click the bell to be notified of future videos.